Milk cartons. For the most part, these milk cartons that they've been coming out with were terrible, terrible, terrible. But with this new Iono milk cartons, I've been seeing people pull bangers. So is it worth it? Should we try it? Well, we already did. We did. And because this is pre-recorded, I can tell you that some bangers were pulled. Not even just okay hits. These were pretty, pretty dope hits. So buckle in, if you're new, welcome to the channel. Maybe hit that like and subscribe, no pressure though. Actually, lots of pressure, hit it bro, hit it. Anyway, check it out. Snorlax, Snorlax, Snorlax. Iono milk carton box, here we go, here we go. Take a look at it, 360 view and $40. Yeah, that was the cheapest I can get it. As I can imagine, lots of people were trying to get this. I remember back when Marnie came out with the milk carton and man, that was tough to get. And check out this promo. This promo is noise, super noise. And they did something in this box that I appreciated. These sleeves are no longer the matte finish sleeves, so they're clear. I like that because I can definitely use that to put hits in. This deck box has all our packies. And uh, I'm not going to lie, this uh, deck box is kind of clean, kind of clean. I like that. I like that right there. Obviously, that's going to babe. We'll take a look at this promo one more time, see how centered it is. Pretty nice. I don't like opening these up, so we'll keep it sealed for now. And we're going to take a look at the packs. Temporal Forces, Temporal Forces, Paradox, Obsidian, Scarlet, Violet Base, and a Lost Origin. It's kind of weird that they threw one from Sword and Shield inside there, but I'm not complaining because I like Lost Origin. We're just changing up the packs in order from our least favorite to our favorite. Number one is underway, and like I said in the intro, we've pulled bangers, so get ready. Get ready for this one. That was a dope hit. That pack was so good it banged twice. Let's sort it out and get to straight to pack number two. Now, pack number two, what will you do? I'm not gonna lie, some stuff is just too funny. So I gotta show you the real audio from when I pulled this Charizard real quick. Just real quick, just listen. Don't make too much fun of me, but have a nice laugh. I don't know. All that aside, I think I was just extremely hyped because I haven't pulled a Zard in a long time. I don't know. I'm not in. I'm not sure. But uh, let's put that away and get right on to pack number three. Pack number three. Paradox Rift is, in my opinion, where Scarlet and Violet 
nerfed the pull rates because we all know that Paradox Rift, you can't get a double banger in it. So in my opinion, it's a little harder. A lot of people say Temporal Forces is harder, but I've had less luck with Paradox. That hits A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. Right here we notice something kind of odd. Look at that code card. It's bent. You definitely don't want to see that, especially because we were on track, like, Everything's given us a hit so far. So let's see if the hit is okay, is damaged, or if there's even a hit in here. Where'd the hit go? It was just getting good. Well, if ever we wanted a pack that didn't have a hit, it'd be on a pack where it was damaged. So we're gonna have to look at these cards a little care more carefully now. Let's go, let's get it. You hear that? You hear that? The hits are coming. <laughs> Last pack, Sword and Shield era pack. Can we get a hit from this one? So far, so far. We are four for five, but one pack did have a double banger. So, this could potentially be a broke box. Broke box, milk carton, no milk, six packs, one dud. If you made it this far, let me know what you thought about the vid. I also would like to know, do you think that Paradox Rift is worse than Temporal Forces or vice versa? And I wanna know about your experiences. Have you ever had a broke box? If you have, what set was it from? What did you pull? Let me know in the comments and I'll check you next time. Peace.